welcome to Germany, land of the Autobahn. Where there's no speed limit, where everything always runs on time. Or so you thought. But look a little closer and you can see a decade of austerity starting to take its toll. 40% of all bridges and a fifth of the motorway network are said to be in critical condition. Some say a bit more spent on this could be the answer, not just to Germany's problems, but also the whole Eurozone. But talk to the Mittelstand, the country's manufacturing base, and they are more worried about how difficult it is to sell their goods abroad. Isabel Hahn's family has owned her company, a glass display cabinet maker, for a century. But times are getting tougher. Well, our business is a slow-moving business, and even though the economy is picking up in some southern European countries, it'll take a while till we feel the positive effects. Different countries affect us. Um, what we have to do is then to try to find another market to go somewhere else where the economy is just picking up. And now experts worry that the crisis may be coming back to haunt the Eurozone. No, I mean, we see the first signs that some type of Euro crisis is coming back. I, I don't, nobody knows, but I don't expect, you know, that we'll go back to the, uh, the, the heydays in 2012. But obviously, since the recovery is, is stalling and since we find out that the ECB cannot uh, basically pull the ECB out of this rut on its own, uh, obviously there will be more infighting and markets will just start to wander. The mood is uneasy here in Frankfurt, where those markets are based. Like Germany, France has also avoided recession, but it only managed half a percent of growth in the past year. Italy hasn't even achieved a single quarter of growth for more than three years. Every now and then, they steal jealous glances in this direction. When you think of the 21st century German economy, the image you're probably conjuring up is something like this. It's efficient, it's financially extremely advanced. But this is a country which never forgets its past, whether that's hyperinflation that happened in the 1920s or whether indeed it's the recent crisis that happened in the Eurozone. So while Europe faces its own problems at the moment, a lot of people are looking towards Germany to try to do things to sort it out. The reality, though, is there are no simple answers here. The thing is, it's simply not very Germanic to go out and spend like there's no tomorrow. A lot of credit cards, they are they like German, most like the, the cash, the money. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They like the feeling they have the money in their hands. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of people who, um, who do not have as much money, but they still like to spend it on good stuff. Yeah. But in general, I think German people do not like to spend that much money. In a country which keeps shrines to its manufacturers, this one for Carl Benz, inventor of the car, there is a standard answer export your way out of trouble. Germany's problem is that this time around, no one's buying it. Ed Conway, Sky News in Frankfurt.